one last thing to share, and this is for mature audiences only. <laughs> Someone say this is a PG-13 rating. As Ken is sharing that, and Spirit said, write it this this way. So think of Maria and Yeshua. Think of Mary and Joseph, another Miriam, Miriam and Yosef. Yosef meaning he shall add, or shall be added, Miriam shall be added. This is Hillel and Lila conjoined. There's Hillel, and there's Lila. I wrote this wave down here because when the two of them join together, we have a staff of authority, we have the twin staffs that have a spark, and we have the twin staves that have a spark. You see that? So we've got two staves of authority that L L Lila carries and Hillel carries. When they come together and conjoin in intimacy in the chamber of the heart, it produces an orgasmic wave called bliss. When that happens, a spark is created because the two have unified. So even that which we are doing within our sexual relations as a partner in partnership, when we have unified our Hillel and Lila on the inside and I bring that to the table and my partner brings his Hillel and Lila to the table and we come in in sacred uni union in intimacy, entwining our two flesh bodies and we can eclipse ourselves in one another and get into this blissful state of orgasmic relation, creation happens. We just shot out light. Light is. I'm sharing this as a PG-13 because again, I wouldn't be telling a five-year-old this. This is what I would be teaching someone that would be getting ready to enjoin themselves into a marriage bed. of why it's important that the marriage bed should always be approached from this manner, because it is a sacred place of union of creation. With the divine intention to beget God to be delivered. Now, that doesn't mean that it's only just for the procreation of a flesh body. I believe that because of the pattern that I see here, that this is also a way to beget or to birth an idea That's where the two are coming together in a sacred union where before intercourse is taken upon oneself that you're utilizing that sacred moment not just to pleasure the body but we are taking our lila and our halal our halal and our lila to birth energetically something that is going to send out ripples a wave of light into the cosmos. I believe this was the intention of sex magic. Because I see it in the language of the frequency to see what was attempting to be done. And of course, in the church, you can't talk about that stuff. Oh my gosh, that's like doctrines of demons. But the lesser always has to give way to greater. So if you can comprehend what this is, what does magic mean? To be of help. How do we spell that? Said intentionally. Kol, the crown, the bride who has been given power. Yeah, Kol, to be of help. All right. If. So again. To beget an idea. Yes, I was just going to say. To beget an idea. Yeah. An idea is electricity. Yeah. We're talking about electromagnetism that goes into the waveform in order to materialize into the particle. Yeah. Where you just birth something anew. So what she just really explained was manifesto. Yep. 